Well, guys, I've said it before and I'm going to say it again. Diversity, equity and inclusion will be the downfall of this country. It is already destroying businesses out there. Remember um, Victoria's Secret? Remember, they got rid of the angels and they wanted to be all um, fat acceptance and all this other stuff. Uh, people very, very unhealthy. And uh, by the way, all of these fat models we found out that were out there on social media, probably mainly TikTok, they're all dead. Why did they die? Well, they were overweight. Fat acceptance should not be a thing. I mean, being fat is very, very unhealthy. You can die young from being way, way, way overweight. And that's what they've really been pushing, you know, onto uh, young people, obese people. That is the same thing that Victoria's Secret was actually doing. I remember a couple of years ago, man, I was like, they had this woman. She was so obese. I was like, how did this actually happen? How was this actually allowed to happen? It was allowed to happen because of diversity, equity and inclusion. That can actually get people killed, man. Promoting an unhealthy lifestyle. You know, just like you got, um, I believe it was uh, what? The World Economic Forum, some, something like that. I don't remember exactly. Telling people to cut back on meat because of climate change. Really? Humans are carnivores. We are designed to eat meat. People like Bill Gates want us to eat fake meat. And Bill Gates, not looking very healthy, is he? Listen to Joe Rogan when it actually comes to nutrition. Eat your meat. There's nothing wrong with it. But we're going to be talking about the founder of Lululemon. His company that he founded has embraced diversity, equity and inclusion. And he's coming out and he is slamming them for that. Because the models, guys, that they got for Lululemon. Oh, boy, that fat. So we're going to be diving into that in this video, guys. First, make sure you guys like this video, subscribe to the channel, become a channel member. Member live stream is tomorrow. I already set up the live stream for tomorrow. All you got to do is click that join button. Just five dollars per month. Support us and we'll see you tomorrow. So let's go ahead and get into this. Look at this, guys. Lululemon founder rips companies DEI pivot. Models look unhealthy. Yeah, they do. They look unhealthy because they're promoting, I guess, this um, body positivity thing. And we're going to watch um, a little clip here of one of the ads. And this woman is actually talking about running. She has to be like 300 pounds. I wish I could say I was joking, but I'm not joking. This is what they're pushing, guys. So it says here, the founder of uh, Lululemon has blasted the athleisure apparel company's embrace of diversity, equity and inclusion in its marketing. Send the models and the ads look unhealthy, sickly and not inspirational. Yeah, that's the same thing that happened with uh, Victoria's Secret sales decline because people, when they see Victoria's Secret, they want the sexiness in it. But the won't say, no, no, you cannot look at that. You must look at um, unsexiness. You must look at obesity as being sexy. And for a lot of people, man, they're just not down with that. Anyway, it goes on. It says Lululemon's billionaire founder, Chip Wilson, who has a history of enraging the woke news media with his public statements, told Forbes in a recent interview that he is unhappy with the direction Lululemon has taken uh, saying the brand is trying to become like the gap, everything to everybody. Uh, quote, I think the definition of a brand is that you're not everything to everybody. Wilson said, you got to be clear that you don't want certain customers coming in. He blasted the retailers whole diversity and inclusion thing. Send the models and ads look unhealthy and sickly. He said some of them are, quote, not inspirational. He's right about that. Folks. Let's watch this clip here of one of the ads. Like I said, this is supposed to be about running here. 
And this model is like three, 350 pounds. Look at this. This is over on Instagram right here. I mean, look at that, man. Nobody wants to see that to get inspired to go and work out. Come on. This is what they're pushing, man. I mean, she is way, 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 way overweight. My goodness. You know, maybe she's making an effort to change her life. I get that. But this is clearly not the direction that Lululemon wants to go in. At least the founder doesn't want them to go in like that. Yeah, that's not going to be attractive. OK. Lululemon has featured plus size models in to promote its clothes for overweight people. I'm going to stop it right there. That woman wasn't plus size. She was obese. There is a difference, I believe, between a plus size versus obese. OK, I've seen some plus size models. That doesn't necessarily mean that they are obese. That woman was morbidly obese. Morbidly obese. I mean, come on, man. Come on. Wilson stepped down as CEO in 2013 and left the board two years later. Man, I can't imagine, you know, starting a company. And then you're watching a company go down in the drain in a direction that you don't want it to go. I mean, George Lucas, when it comes to Star Wars, he sold um, Star Wars and. Um, everybody knows he is greatly disappointed in the direction that Disney has taken Star Wars. Remember, he said he sold his uh, kids to white slavers. He said that. I mean, um, one of the guys from uh, Bud Light. Um, what's his name? Something Bush. I don't remember his name. Sorry, I forgot his name off the top of my head. But he's like. Sell the company back to my family. He wants it back because of the whole Dylan Mulvaney thing. Got got away from the values of Bud Light. When companies go corporate, man. You can definitely see that there's pressure to go woke. That's pressure, man. I can't imagine, you know, let's say, for example, man. I sold Black and White Network, for example. OK, me and Rose say, well, all right, we're selling. And you guys know the vision. We're anti woke over here. But whoever we actually sell it to, they start taking it down a different path. They still have uh, the black and white name on it. It's not representing us anymore. It's not representing our values anymore at all. That's going to be a real problem, man. I can only imagine, you know, what uh, Chip Wilson is actually going through right now. Watching his company that he started go down the drain because the company now wants to virtue signal, wants to be woke, wants to promote obesity. And it's unattractive, man. People just really don't want to see that. But no, they don't get it. They still want to go out there and do that. You know what? When you're a brand that you call it uh, what niche marketing, OK? That's your true audience right there. But we've definitely seen a lot of these companies uh, post George Floyd. They want to try and embrace everybody. You just can't do it. You just can't do it. Your core audience. Those are your loyal customers right there. Why would you actually want to alienate them? Victoria's Secret did. And now guess what? The angels are coming back. Why? Because they lost a lot of money. It's just that simple, man. Money talks. If the obese thing work, then the money wouldn't be drying up. But that's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white network fans, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And we will catch you next time.